Hello and welcome to another edition of NorCal Vapor's Corner with me, April. And I'm probably going to have to fix my lighting, so just give me a second. There we go. That's a little bit better, like you see most of my face. Anyways, I watched my last two videos and realized you were getting a direct shot of my double chin, so I figured I should change that. You know, I, I already know I'm a larger female, but I don't think most people want to stare at my double chin while I'm talking. I know I don't like to, so I don't think you guys would like to. Anyways, with that out of the way, this is what we are going to do. My cat is going psycho. This is what we are going to do today. Okay? I, I would like to spend more time with the ice stick, but I have to spend more time with the Play-Doh because I'm waiting for my nickel coils before I do any kind of review because I want to try it in all three modes because I've already tried it in mouth to lung and I'm using sub ohm and I want to try the temperature control on it so I don't want to do the in-depth with it and I need to fuck I will be right back son of a bitch I forgot to grab my damn box anyways even though everybody on the planet has reviewed this um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just not going to use the box. Y'all know what the box looks like, I hope. If not, go check out Twisted 420. Go check out Ruby Roo. They got the box on there. Um, check them out anyways, because they are freaking awesome reviewers. I absolutely love both of them. They are freaking amazing. Okay, and this is what we got. We got the standard, you know, 510 connection for your atomizers or your tanks. We've got a locking switch right here, which I find extremely handy dandy dandy because this is your fire button now. There's no button here. This whole panel over here is your button, and this right here is what makes up fire. See, I don't have anything on there, so it's not going to fire, obviously. But this little button right here, it only fires on one side, and I like this. I like the way this is. Ugh, these magnets are super strong. And this is what I like about this. If you're not paying attention, you can't put these on backwards. You can only put them on one way. And it lets you know you're putting it on wrong. Okay, and then you have your charging port, which, um, you guys, I'm going to give you guys the, the DL Skinny Lowdown. Okay, these are 18650s. Do not use this to charge these because if you leave it plugged in too long and you keep overcharging your battery, you're putting yourself at risk for venting. A little bit of battery safety 101. Have a separate external 18650 or you know 1680. It's a there's usually the chargers usually charge a large variety of external batteries. So if you don't just use 18650s, it comes in handy. But make sure you have an external charger, like an IntelliCharger, or the EFAS charger, or I would, I myself use an IntelliCharger because it stops charging when the battery is fully charged. It doesn't allow you to overcharge your batteries. It doesn't allow you, you know, to make the big oopses, like some people slap them in overnight. I don't charge my batteries overnight, ever. If, if you're sitting there going, well, I only have one set of batteries. Well, it's really simple. Go buy another set of batteries because... You don't want to leave them on the charger overcharging constantly because then you're putting yourself at risk for venting and other accidents and, and problems that we can have with batteries that we don't want to have. Um, only thing that I don't like, because now I have to buy a wrap for one of my batteries, only thing that I don't like is how snug, like you can't pull them out. Because if you do, if you pull out the wrong end, if you pull off the negative, the positive, this little thing right here, your positive charge pin, hits the wrapper of your 18650 and will rip it. Um, it fucked up one of the wrappers on uh, my brand new battery and I was fucking pissed. But it's okay. They have battery wrappers for that and you just freaking rewrap your damn battery. But now I have to like either be super careful and do things that I shouldn't do, like use a battery with a fucked up wrapper, or wait and spend, you know, the dollar plus shipping to get the pack of wrappers. And it's like three bucks for a pack of wrappers that, like, will rewrap any battery ever. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, Can and Can does a really good video on it. Uh, there's a couple other people that show the rewrapping of batteries, but the one that I have watched is Can and Can, and I really enjoy 
uh, her videos as well in general. So, but that's that. Anyways, that's the only thing I have found that I do not like about this, devi this device. Obviously, because it is a 18650 battery, um, and there, when you use it, if people are like freaking out watching their voltage drop, watching the little battery thing drop and pound back up, that's just the voltage drop of the battery. It does it in a mech mod, you just can't see it because there's no display showing the voltage drop of the battery. Um, there's no, it's not faulty, it's not weird, it's just the battery's being used, so it's discharging, and it shows the voltage drop. Um, also, this lock here, I like this lock right here. Now it's locked, can't use it. Okay, you obviously can do your whole... Five clicks off. Pressing both up and down. Hold it and you flip your screen. Flip it back. And you don't have to hold it for like five seconds or something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Really? There we go. Sometimes I get all crazy and over view. This does um, screw in with any basic 510 atomizer or tank. Anything will fit on there. Oh, another thing that I really like, because I didn't have it on the, the last generation of i6, like last year's, is... Yeah, the bottom of my atomizer is dirty. Yeah. Is this right here. Okay, you see this right here? And you see how it, it's raised up? This will prevent juice or a lot of juice you still want to clean in here with a q-tip and to make sure your contacts are clean but in here it will keep the juice from getting in here and fucking shit up because it does happen there's no battery for juice to dribble on and later gunk up your your button um yeah we got battery venting not as much as i would like to see for a dual but i'm sure it's enough there's holes here vent holes here like i was saying this i would only use this to update my firmware which this is firmware upgradable and it is a lovely device it's like i would not really recommend it for somebody that is just trying to quit smoking and get into vaping because you would have to buy all the attachments like you'd have to buy a, a regular like a nautilus mini or um, one of the older like clarimizers and whatever and then you would really have to know your voltage and your wattage uh, you'd have to know your ohms law which is volts versus ohms gives you the wattage or the voltage that you want to be at and that is something sometimes some people get overwhelmed with that and you don't want to overwhelm somebody that's just trying to get off cigarettes so but anyways and I'm vaping on April 16th which is the mystery flavor from Vape Wild. I'm going to give myself a guess and a gander at what it is. And then I'm probably going to share this to, to Vape Wild. I'm probably going to send it to them. I never get it actually completely right. I'm always off by something. But what I do get off of it is like a fresh strawberry, not candied, a fresh strawberry, like a ripe strawberry you just bite into. But what it tastes like, because there is like a cream element to it, and almost like a cakey feel a little bit. But I first guessed it was probably like a strawberry shortcake kind of dessert, babe. Could be berries and cream. It wouldn't be strawberries and cream because I already have two of that. It could be a, but it's not a yogurty taste either. I don't know. All I know is the best that I can come up with is like it's a berries and cream or like a shortcake with whipped cream on it. It's really, really good. I can't, I can't stress to anybody enough who doesn't have the money to go buy, like, the big name brand uh, juices to give these guys a try, seriously. Like, when I first bought them, I was like, I only bought a couple, like, 10 mil bottles because I was like, $3? Ugh. You know, because anywhere, if, 
if you've been vaping for a while, if you get a $3 bottle of juice, it's probably shit. Just being frank. Um, what I can say is these guys are not shit. Do not let the price let you think it's a low-budget, shitty-tasting juice. Um, like I said, I've only run into two flavors I'm not super keen on. And that's just because of my own personal tastes and profiles. And there's, like, certain juices leave funky tastes. And it's not just them. I have tried... My problem is the Captain Crunch cereals. I have tried Vape Wilds. I have tried... Uh, EC blends. I have tried tried another one. I've tried like three of them, and they all have this. Oh, I tried uh, Admiral Crunchberry by Mount Baker Vapor. I didn't like any of the three because there, the cereal note is completely off. The honey cereal is not there. It, it tastes really like fucked up, stale, nasty ass cereal to me. Everybody else seems to like it. Me and myself, I'm just like. Ugh. I like Fruit Hoops, though. That's good. That's their take on Fruit Loops. It's yummy. But um, definitely give those guys a try. This tugboat, absolutely loving the tugboat V3. I'm not, I, I don't like how far the posts are apart, but I'll, I'll live. I'm rocking a freaking dual 7-wrap Canthal build built by my own little fingers. And we get decent vapor production. The device freaking rings that out really well. I get a nice true freaking right now. I'm only wa that's only at 31 watts. And I'm at a, I built a 0.4. So, and this is stable and bypass to down to 0.1 on Canthal coils. Just so you know. Because you can go into bypass mode. It has all the temperature control modes, all the fine tuning for TC. And then it has uh, the... Regular voltage wattage, which is what I'm in right now, is just the regular wattage mode. So there is a lot of little cool things to go onto this. And guess what? Reasonably priced. I got this for under $40 at myvaporstore.com. And I have seen it for no more than $40 at, oh, I think I saw it for $45 in a couple other places. So it's still under $50. Considering my 50 watt last year was $65 and you could not find it cheaper until it had been out for a while. So this has been out for a couple, I know it's been out for a couple months, I think, or a month or two. But definitely if you're an iStick user, you like the iStick, you want to step it up a notch, it's a 100 watt temperature control, it can do freaking everything. So, and it does support uh, titanium, stainless steel, and nickel coils, so rock on. And you, it is firmware upgradable. I haven't upgraded the firmware because I think it can go up to like 120 watts or something like that. I don't know. I'll probably upgrade the firmware eventually. I'm not rocking it super hot wattage. I don't like super hot vapes. I like dense, but not like choke me out dense. So. And I get decent vapor production from the build, obviously. The atomizer helps with all the airflow. It has adjustable airflow here and adjustable airflow up here. Obviously, you can also change your drip tips on the tugboats. Absolutely love that. I like being able to customize my own shit. Anyways, that's what I got for y'all today. This video is a bit longer than my last uh, couple. Uh, you're probably, I'm going to be spacing them out a little bit more because what I showed you the other day is all I have for this month. So, like I said, this is what I'm rocking right now but what I've been vaping is two other flavors that I will be reviewing soon so you guys have a great day remember find your preferred setup and if you fuck up and smoke get back to vaping come on you know vaping's better tastes better that's for people sure and make sure that you like subscribe and leave a comment down below because at some point, I will be doing giveaways again. I have a large box. Like, not large, but like... Uh, that size of a box. Check full of juice. That I have, like, checked to make sure it's still available, okay? Um, and it needs to go. Because 
there are flavors that I don't care for, that I don't really like, and I would like somebody else to make use of it. So, comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more, and have a wonderful day. Let's vape out, and y'all have a great day.